Hey Simon, congratulations on not only your MLS debut, but your MLS debut goal as well. Just talk a little bit about it. Has it sunk in yet or is it going to take a few hours or tomorrow for it to fully sink in? No, I don't think it has. Um, yeah, it was just, you know, kind of getting in the right spot and those are the positions you want to be in and the ball just fell to me and it was just kind of a reaction to be honest. <clears throat> so when did you find out you were getting the call up and what was last night like for you? Was it a bit of a, a sleepless night? Um, yeah, I found out earlier this week that I'd at least be training a day or two with the first team and then um, on Wednesday afternoon I found out I'd be on the bench and then yeah and just kind of try and pre prepare myself and you know it's just another soccer game in a sense so just trying to keep my nerves calm in, in that sense. And just last one for me you, you've had a really strong season with, with WFC too and as the season's gone on you've kind of really come into your own and recently you've had a, a good partnership with, with Easton up front the mm -hmm. goals have been coming how have you seen your game grow this season in MLS Next Pro to, to when you first came in after the draft? Yeah, a lot of it is, you know, getting into the same system as, you know, with the second team that the first team has and, you know, trying to push ourselves at that second team level because there's a lot of ambitious guys, a lot of really good players, guys, or a lot, a lot of really good players on that team. And you've seen that, you know, multiple guys have been called up this year. So, you know, it's a high level there and, you know, just that really prepares you when you do step into, you know, the first team environment. You know, it's kind of the same system, so you don't really have to worry about thinking and all that stuff. You can just kind of uh, play and be yourself. That's great. Thanks, Simon, and congrats. Thank you. Thanks, Michael, and we'll go here to Sydney. Go ahead, Sydney. Hey, Simon, congrats on the goal, and uh, most importantly, the win. Um, hey, what is it like playing for a team that, no, for lack of a better term, leaves it late in the manner that the Cats have left it late so far this season? Yeah, I mean, Vanny just kind of stressed that. Uh, hey, what's that going, guys? <laughs> Vanny just stressed that, you know, we, you know, kind of fight till the end and always, always bring the energy. And, you know, I think you saw in the last, you know, 20 minutes that, you know, the, you know, the tide of the game was starting to turn and we started to put more and more pressure. And, you know, that, that's all you can do is just continue to go at teams. And I think that's kind of what you saw tonight. You said, um, you know, that kind of thing isn't sustainable. Still, here you all are, you know not too far out of the uh, playoff places. How do you keep that mentality moving forward? How do you take out a mentality, more importantly, of you know, being ready right off the jump, like he was saying earlier? Yeah, I mean, you can only you can only take three points a night. So I think, you know, tonight, that was the message. Tonight was the most important game. You can't really start looking out, you know, towards the playoffs. It's, you know, if you want to make it, you got to take care of business, especially at home. And I think, you know, that's what, what we were stressing is that, you know, we were going to give Houston our best game for 90 minutes. And um, I guess that's what we did and just continue to go because, you know, it doesn't matter if it, there's 15 minutes left and we're down a goal. We always believe and I guess bring energy. And then last one for me, uh, a player like Lucas, was it like playing alongside him after, you know, no doubt watching him? from the Whitecaps to... Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, we I got to go to preseason with them, and, you know, he was there. And, you know, obviously someone who has been in the professional game and scored a lot of goals, so someone someone to look up to and almost emulate your game off of. And then, you know, when you're out there, you know, again, it, it, it's, just a, it's just a soccer game. So um, just playing off each other and, you know, continuing to, you know, apply pressure to teams. You know, he's, he's a great player. And, you know, as you saw with his finish or two finishes, depending on who you ask, um, but yeah, you know, he, he's, a, he's a great player, yeah. Awesome, thanks Simon. Thank you. Thanks Sydney, and we'll go up here next to Hannah. Go ahead, Hi Simon, congratulations on your debut and your big goal today. I'm wondering, were you nervous at all? Did you have any butterflies? And what did your teammates say to you, maybe advice-wise? Yeah, um, you know, everyone was just telling me, obviously, you're you're here for a reason. And, um, 
yeah, you know, no butterflies really, obviously, you know, some excitement. Um, and, you know, regardless of if I got in or not or how long I played, you know, I just wanted to go out and obviously give my best effort and, you know, try to at least bring energy and help the guys in the team out any way that I could. So, yeah, everyone was super supportive and, and helpful. And, you know, I think it all contributed to the win. You got to see the energy when Vancouver won the cup against Toronto. What was the energy for you on the pitch and the noise the fans make? How was the atmosphere tonight? Yeah, the fans were fantastic. And, um, you know, you know, for them to be into the game for 90 whole minutes, um, you know, it really helps push us, especially, we, you know, we win and, uh, you know, push a lot late in games. So I think you saw that tonight, you know, once the first goal came, you know, it felt like the second one was shortly behind it, and it was. So they were fantastic tonight. Did you have any family or friends or anyone from the States that would be able to come up to watch the game tonight? Unfortunately, my uh, my family couldn't make it there all the way down in Florida, and so on short notice, uh, they weren't able to get up. But um, obviously, some of the WFC two players and my girlfriend were here, so it was nice to see them. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Hiram. We'll wrap things up here with Nathan. Go ahead, Nathan. Hey, Simon. I'm going to mirror everyone else and say congratulations on the on the game the Thank you. and the win. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the system that you're growing up with, with Whitecaps 2, the coaches that you have down there. What have they done to help prepare you and all of your teammates on the second team for that opportunity to move up like you did today? Yeah, you know, again, you know, the first and second team both have the same system. So when when you get up to the first team, there's really, you know, you don't have to think too much about learning a whole new system. And then, you know, Coach Dasovich and uh, Coach Shaw, you know, they really – Focus individually, a lot of individual work, a lot of, um, you know, time after trainings, time, you know, looking at film and, you know, putting us under a lot of stress so that when we do um, push us up a level, you know, they always tell us that, you know, we want to push you, we want to push you. So when you do step into, you know, a higher level, uh, you know, you're ready for it. So, you know, they've done a really good job. And again, we have a lot of good guys on that team, a lot of guys that have been with this first team. Um, so it's a high level, it's an ambitious level, and yeah. What I'm getting from you is that when you make that jump, it doesn't really feel like a jump because you're mentally and physically prepared by the coaches that you have there that are basically doing their job and uh, getting you ready. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And especially, you know, it, it, it's a high level. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, you know, kind of just stepping in and being yourself. You're not, not really trying to think too much. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.